Howdy guys, or should I say bonjour. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. And if you're not, welcome back. I have missed you. Okay, so if you have not seen the tutorial on lazy to uh, tie dye, that's what we're doing today, tie dye. Um, I kind of broke off one of the parts today to show you just how to do the rainbow, which this one's a very subtle rainbow, and this one is a very pop rainbow. I love it. So, if you have not watched the other tutorial, not only did I get a few rainbow shirts out of one round of tie dye, like one, it's like the same as if you were doing one t-shirt of tie-dye. I did 19 shirts in the same amount of time it would take to just do one. So watch that tutorial, but if you want just the rainbow technique, it's, a, it's literally the simplest thing, but I know that everyone's gonna wanna know when they see this, so I figured I would separate it into its own little thing, and hopefully you guys will be able to make the rainbow one specifically because I don't really cover the rainbow one in that. How many times do I say rainbow? Okay, let's get going. I love you guys. Let's move on to the tutorial. All right, so a part of my tutorial when I did 19 shirts all at once, I did two shirts where I stretched them lengthwise in the bucket and just twisted them. And those are my rainbow shirts. Those are the ones that turned out like a rainbow. So I just laid them out and you can scrunch them like a zigzag or an accordion, but I really just twisted them and then laid them along the bucket. So if you wanna do a bunch like this, you would just lay them all out in a row um, and then you would go in with your tie-dye. Now, I loved the tulip kit because it came with all the colors I needed and I'm just gonna go over what I did again in the other tutorial, which is I ended up spraying down the, um, the entire set like a rainbow red orange yellow green blue purple pink and of course you don't have to do it like this you could do it in different colors or um you know you could do three colors or four colors but this is the rainbow tutorial so i wanted to use all of them but the spray didn't work when i was doing a bunch of shirts if you were doing two or three shirts that this would probably work but since i was doing 19 shirts i actually ended up just opening the bottles up and dumping them all on so you could get a regular tie-dye kit as well and do this and just you know bypass the entire spray bottle thing but and then you'd probably be fine just doing this one step where you dump the bottles if you're only doing three or four rainbow shirts. But I like to do as many as I can and you'll see that this wasn't really going very deep. So I actually filled the water bottles up again and dumped them on again for another round. And this probably made its way halfway through the layer of 19 shirts and that still wasn't as good as I wanted it because when I lifted up the bottom, there was not very much color down there. So I just took them and put them over the sink and I ran a little bit of water over the shirts in um, making sure to do it over all of the shirts. Again, if you're only doing like three or four shirts, you probably won't have to do this. But if you're doing 19 shirts like I did, you will want to do this in a bucket. Obviously, I'm using a plastic bucket for this. I did this in my kitchen and it was not messy at all. I was so excited about that. And then I let it sit for about four hours and then I completely washed it out with um, water before I ran it through a washing machine. And then I just ran them all through the washing machine and dried them and then I was good to go. Yeah. 